Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday, June the 1st, 2015. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Monday Vlogger B. I'm really excited today. Why am I so excited? Well, this week's topic is probably one of my... One of the easiest for me to answer. I'm going to read it to you so you guys can understand. It goes like this. It says, How to handle the critics, yourself and everyone else. How do you handle your own inner critic? What tips and strategies have you found most useful to calm the noise so that you can move ahead and make progress on your journey? How do you handle critique and criticism from those around you? What tips and strategies have you found useful to deal with these outside influencers? You know, let me tell you a story. I used to hate what people thought about me. I was so worried that people were just staring at me and and calling me names, and, and oh, they were a lot of times, you know, because kids can be can be pretty evil. But I was super conscious about what other people thought about me. And, you know, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what switch in my brain flipped. But I got to this point where I was just all of a sudden, I just didn't care. I think... A lot of it is, and I'm trying to psychoanalyze myself while I'm answering the question. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that somewhere along my journey, I decided that I needed to do this for me. And by this, I mean weight loss surgery. Um, and it really, from that point on, became very personal to me. And everything that I did was for me and not for anybody else. So if here I am altering my person the way that I am, um, for me, why should I care what anybody else thinks? And I guess that's kind of the realization that I came to. Now, obviously, it's not that easy for most people. Um, so, and what what do we do when we when we are giving criticism from other people about the things that we do? You know, I have plenty of friends that that do things that I that well, I I won't even get into that. But you know, we all have things about our journeys that other people don't agree with. Um, and, you know, I guess the thing you have to realize is that it's your journey. It's not anybody else's journey. And, you know, what works for you may not work for somebody else and vice versa. So if that Sunday afternoon ice cream cone is a reward for going to the gym all week, if that works for you, then guess what? It works for you. It may not work for me, it may not work for the next person, but it works for you. So when people say, ah, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, the answer is simply, hey, this, this works for me, you know? The numbers don't lie. That's, that's all there is to it. The numbers just simply don't lie. And when, when people give you that criticism, you know, really, it's, I can't tell you how to handle it mentally, but I can tell you how to handle it physically. You know, you just kind of have to go grin and say, oh yeah, really? You, you, you think you think that I shouldn't do that? Hmm, well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do some research on that or I'll consider that or maybe I'll think about that. Or, you know what, you're right. Maybe I'll, I'll think about cutting that out of my life and then do whatever the hell you want to do after that. It doesn't really matter. But the whole point is, you know, that for me anyway, my entire journey is very personal. And it works for me. Am I losing weight as fast as I'd like to? Probably not. Am I losing weight faster than my friends? Definitely not. But I'm losing weight, and that's all that matters. I'm happy. I'm fit, and I'm happy. And who is anybody else to tell me otherwise? I know, I know. Easier said than done. And, you know, you really, you really have to, to, to work on that yourself. I can't really tell you what switch to flip to, to make you not give a crap anymore. Um, but just remember that this is your journey. It's not anybody else's. And regardless of what other people think, if they call it advice or, uh, or criticism or constructive criticism or critiquing or whatever it is, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to make the decision. And if you're happy with where you are and what you're doing, then to hell with everybody else. Now, that leads to the second part of this question. You know, what do I do about myself? I am my worst critic. I really am. And I beat myself up over tons of stuff. Should I? Probably not. But I do. But here's the thing. It works for me. It works for me. I beat myself up one side and down the other. And I'm not just talking about weight loss surgery related things. I'm talking about everything that I do. 
I screw something up, I'm going to beat myself up over it. But you know what? I'm not going to do it again. So for me, that's a positive thing. Uh, for some people, it's not. You know, And you really have to figure out what motivates you. And I guess that's, that's where we go back way, way, way back. And we, we talk about what motivates us and, and maintaining that motivation and keeping focus. Um, and and you, you have to utilize that to, to be able to, to not kick yourself in the junk, so to speak, whenever you make a mistake or whenever you recognize that you're doing something wrong. Um, we have to be able to turn those negatives into positives. And that just comes from practice. Practice and support. Um, but for me, I don't I don't want to practice. I don't sugarcoat it. You know, if I screw something up, I'm gonna slap myself in the head and say, Hey B, you screwed this up. You know? And then sit down and figure out how you screwed it up and how you're not gonna do it again. But that works for me. It may not work for everybody else. Well, that's what I got this week, guys. Um Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you thumbs up, of course. Don't thumbs down. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Come back and see us tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works video. And, of course, come back and see me each Monday for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlog. Have a wonderful week, guys, and take care.